hello and welcome so now i am going to show how to you can use this data entry tool first of all i open this uh, after opening this we can see there are our required input field and also our required button so for example i am going to input something like surname and first name the event should be drop down list which is our customizable I'll show further how can you can manage this drop down list. So there is master class and the phone number is mobile number should be numeric, otherwise you cannot input. For example, I am inserting a string, then when I click add new, then mobile number should be numeric. So the mobile number should be numeric and the email address should be proper. And the inbuilt email address, so need to input proper email address so after completing all the information we need to click add new and data will be insert here and if you need to anything like edit or delete so there is our required information and you can click double click here and the information will show again then you can edit so after editing this you can click update also you can delete using the delete button and the clear button for clear all the fields there is another portion is search criteria uh, search criteria like uh, first time you can search you can search using search name surname department phone mobile number for example i am clicking first name and mm, search value is name then our required data will be show okay after searching or if you want to download anything then you click here as a download okay data ID tracker all data will be download here okay data ID tracker download and you can see this is our required data so so another portion is how to manage this so open all records this is our data entry which are there are data all are preserved there and the support sheet this is also for the drop down list for example i am using drop down list add test and sheet one and go to launch form then refresh here and another drop down list will be inside here after all our execution you can use exit for closing the user form that's all thank you very much